Hello, I'm Entradism and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, uh, playing career mode. So, this is going to be our first attempt at an orbital, ooh, full orbital path, a full orbital, you know, re revolution. Actually, that's a lie. I did try earlier, just testing out different designs for going to orbit, and I tried, and I ended up in, in the water nearby, because, well, it's not really possible about a larger rocket. But, I did get some neat science from the water though, so that counts. Anyway, back to this cool attempt. This is a weird design. Now, I haven't upgraded the, uh, the launch pad. I should have, but I forgot to, and I've been working within some very tight limitations. So, the launch pad has a limit of like 18 tons. We have a 30, per, uh, 30 part part limit, thanks to the vehicle assembly building. So, to make it to orbit, I'm actually going to use some jet engines. It's going to be a very odd takeoff, but without further ado, let's get started. I've also installed a bunch of mods. If you want to want the new stuff on the UIs, it's mods. So I've got one called TAC Life Support. So I've got a life support system. Not that we need it for one orbit, but it'll be important in the future. I like it. It's hard. Um, but we also have, very importantly, uh, Stage Recovery. It's called Stage Recovery, actually, is the name of the mod, which allows you to, if you drop a, like, a stage that's got a parachute on, it'll allow you a chance of recovering that stage depending on what speed it'll hit the ground at. So I've put some parachutes on these stages since the uh, en jet engine alone, one grand a piece, each of them. So definitely want to recover them. All right, let's just take off. Maybe a bit too sharpish. I'm going to be taking kind of an odd trajectory up because I need to use my jet engines to the maximum. They only work in... Uh, atmosphere, a particularly low atmosphere, because of the need for air. So we're going to be pulling, oh, oh no, too far over, too far over, come on back a little bit, come on back. It's uh, going to be an odd trajectory we take. Come on, come on. A bit more, up, a bit more, up a bit more, yes, that's it, right. As you can see our speed is starting to drop. Effectively what I want to do is I want to almost, not quite, stall it and then uh, drop our lower stage and activate our main rocket booster. So you can see that our vertical, uh, ooh, not our vertical, our uh, velocity vector is actually heading towards the horizon now. When it hits the horizon that'll be Apple Apps. That'll be when I'm gonna, a uh, very latest when I'm gonna fire our booster. So we're up to 14 kilometers. I was hoping to get 15. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to have to fire the main booster. So, three, two, one. Firing the main booster, dropping those stages, since, you know, they're not going to be much use anymore. They weigh kind of a lot. And we're going to go for orbit. So, let's go from the map screen, because I need to be able to see my Apple apps. This is very important. We need height. So, unlike a normal, uh, you know, smooth curve, we're not doing a smooth curve. We need to be able to do little curve, now proper launch. So, what have we got? 25, climbing. Question is, do we have the fuel efficiency to make it? Come on, we can do it. Right. Good. Good. 50. Going to go for maybe a four, uh, 73 or something, just to get a little bit outside the atmosphere, just so I've got a little bit of room to play with. There we go. 73. It's going to decrease a little bit because of the atmospheric drag. How much fuel have I got left? Ooh, ooh. Almost... Almost two tanks. Just shy of two tanks. This is a very strange rocket, I understand. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough parts left to be able to actually put a, uh, a parachute on this stage, so this stage is going to be lost. I've accepted that. I've moved on. This stage is going to be lost. The jet engines were worth more. So, we're going to head for our Apple apps, then we're going to burn, and I think we'll be in orbit. I think this is good. I think this is... A very nice attempt. Now, I could have just upgraded the launch pad, and yes, that would have been far easier, and I will have to. For anything, you know, going beyond this, I'm really pushing the limits right now. I need a heavier rocket. 18 tons is, well, insane by normal standards, but I felt it went really well. We had jet engines available, and the, uh, the parts actually wouldn't be wasted because I have stage recovery, which I like. Uh, the ability to make your rockets, you know, fully reusable is pretty nice. It also means you can drop science and stuff, and it'll, uh, it'll actually land, and you can collect it later. Um, you know, it'll appear as a message and be like, you've collected it. Like, look at these, look at these. Stage recovery is like, stage recovered. I hit the ground at 90, oh, 69% speed, so it was a bit too fast. So we only got 66% uh, the recovery cost. Okay, okay, so hit the ground a little bit too fast. That's good to know. What about you? Same? 
Yeah, 69. Let's get rid of all of these. Right, but it did recover some of the funds, at least. That's nice. How are we doing? Are we in space yet? We're now in space. So let's just start our burn. A little bit close to Apoaps. We'll, of course, be burning straight forwards. Come on! All Kerbals are counting on you, Val. All Kerbals are counting on you. Burn. You got this. You got this. You got this. We can we can do it. I'm seeing it start to happen. Right, let's do a little bit of a burn up to try and get the apoaps back towards us. Here we go. Periaps is officially out of the planet. Yes! Orbit Kerbin, seven science, fifty-five grand, and eighteen rep. I am happy. We've managed to do Orbit Kerbin. Now, of course, we will let you, you know, just to celebrate, do a full orbit. I've got enough fuel to do, uh, do a descent burn. Now, here is the sad part about this: this craft, to get within the thirty-part limit, I had to lose the heat shield. Yeah, you heard me right. We have no heat shield for re-entry. Yeah. I understand. We're gonna have to play this rough. So, uh, um, <laughs> with that in mind, let's have a quick look around. And uh, we're gonna do a full rotation of the planet. Just to be able to celebrate. We'll go back over the KSC. And then what I think we'll do is we'll do a... Uh, a small burn to just put ourselves in the atmosphere just to bring it down to periaps. And then we're going to try and land somewhere near the KSC. It's going to be interesting. Now, I can't leave Val up here forever. Life support means she'll die. Someone there is probably like, well, you've done the thing. Why don't you just leave her in orbit? You know, Kerbal's there forever. Not with life support. Tech life support is what I've got. And uh, she will die eventually. If I can bring up the tech life support. Configure visible buttons. I want all the buttons visible for now. Make me all the buttons visible. Close. Thank you. What are we on? Negative numbers there. I think if they go without food or water for what, like an hour? I'll have to find out. I don't know how long they'll last for. But I'm going to disable the uh, SAS at the moment. We're just going to do one full rotation of the planet just to celebrate. And I think what we're going to have to do is one burn just to put us in the atmosphere, just so we can lose a bit more speed, and then a second burn to actually put us, you know, on the ground. Because I don't want to be losing all of that speed just in one descent, because if we do that, we will be dead. There we go, that seems to be reasonable. So we're going to be riding this through the atmosphere. We didn't do a full, you know, orbit suborbital. But we'll be okay. Ah, uh, I don't think we will. I think we're actually going to end up going into the atmosphere and staying in the atmosphere, actually. I think I put that a bit deep. If that is the case, we're going to have to ride this one out. At least we're going to meet somewhere near the KFC. Right. Let's make sure we get this right. Because this is going to be one tough orbit. Well, while we're uh, in a life or death situation, this is future me. Just going to tell you that, you know, the thing I'm playing around now is the ambient light mod, which allows me to basically make the dark slightly brighter, which is great for YouTube because it can be really difficult to see what's going on in YouTube because the YouTube video compression kind of screws everything up. Anyway, good mod. Back to life or death. Okay, we're starting to burn up. Right, well, this means we need to enact our plan, which means... Engine, slow ourselves down. There we go. Okay, we're going to burn up again. If we're not careful. Now, the lower stage is completely, you know, throw away. We don't need the lower stage. What we do need to do is make sure we can actually get back into the atmosphere. So we are slowing down, gently. Our parachute will not deploy until we get lower in the atmosphere. So my concern right now is we won't actually reach lower in the atmosphere. Right now, 
I am just hoping that we can get low into the atmosphere. We need to be about another seven kilometers lower into the atmosphere for our parachute to you know, work. So I'm trying to eclipse the command pod using the engine. I'm also burning to try and slow us down a little bit. But we're going to start losing parts soon. This was a Hail Mary! Another three kilometers and I can start doing things. We are burning pretty hard now. I'm going to have to use all of our fuel. There we go. We're done. As soon as it flips around, which it will do, because currently... Right, I think we're almost good. Parachute out. G-force, 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 G-force. Not burning up. Yes, mission accomplished. We are successful. Goodbye, lower stage. You did your job well. Oh, God. There we go. I told you we weren't long from burning up. Those of you who didn't catch that, it exploded. Uh, about 18 kilometers out from us, which was a time difference of, what, 10 seconds? If we'd have left it too late, that would have exploded with us attached, and that would have thrown us straight into the, uh, the airstream ahead and probably killed us. But we successfully managed to make it out. Valentina Kerman is a very pleased with herself. Look at that grinning face. Oh. My lord. Oh. Talk about cutting it close. That was... I'm not sure... I don't know if you really fully appreciate Maybe some of you do, maybe some of you don't. Ten seconds. If I'd left... That was entirely down to judgment. If I'd left that ten seconds longer, we would probably be dead right now. And our orbit would... Well, it would still count. But, you know... Valentina would be dead. And that would make me very sad. But as it is, Valentina Kerman is our first Kerbal in space. Ah, let's, let's just get ourselves on the ground. I don't think my heart can really cope with anything more. Okay, so we're back, and of course that stage that we just ejected and exploded was killed. It was valued at 2.5 grand. We lost 2.5 grand worth. I think that is perfectly acceptable. It went down with a speed of 100 meters a second, which is a little bit much. It's a little bit much. But I'm perfectly happy to lose that. Ooh, science available. What? Crew report. Okay, I'll take a crew report. Cool. Okay, so this is, by the way, another mod, which is stock uh, science. Uh, stock science? No, science alert. St science alert. EVA report? No, you don't need that. Okay. Can we... Grab. Grab. Okay, board. Right. So. I would say... That went well. Let's, uh, ooh, actually, where are we compared to... We're on exactly the other side of the planet, pretty much. Hmm. Well, that's not perfect. Oh, well. Uh, let's recover the vessel. So, KSP crashed. You might have noticed that there was suddenly a jump. We completed our orbit. We got, you know, seven science for it, etc. It was good. Unfortunately, though... I then went around the KSC looking for science with this amazing craft, and I got loads. The KSC, the, oh my god, KSC has so much science available. Every single one of these buildings has its own biome. Brilliant, great science you can get there. Unfortunately, it crashed. And while I've done the science, unfortunately, we maybe haven't done everything. And you don't get to see it. Uh, anyway, it was just mostly me going to buildings and doing science, and that was an amazing part when I nearly ran myself over a rover, but unfortunately, you don't get to see any of that. So, you can see here that we actually have the science logged. Crew report from the administration, crew report from the callaway, crew report from Kerbin's Highlands, crew report from Kerbin's Shores, crew report from the atmosphere, etc. Actually, do we not have that? Huh. Interesting. But anyway... There are some things that we just don't have here. Uh, but we have done a lot of science around the Kerbin, uh, around the Space Center. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see it. It's annoying. I know. What are you going to do? And what are you going to do when they come for you? So I would definitely want to show you the rover, though. The rover is a piece of amazing art. And there is a couple of bits of science I have not got. So the rover is, if we go to Space Playing Hangar, um, this. 
It's amazing. It's 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 a tricycle rover with a jet engine to power it. Uh, two science bays and two uh, two goo gangsters. Unfortunately, you can only have one crew report. I really don't like that, by the way. I would love to change that. I will be modding that. I don't know how, but there needs to be a mod for that. If someone knows where the mod is for that, let me know down below because I can't remember which one it is. But there are definitely a mod that allows you to have multiple crew reports because I don't like the fact you can only have one. It doesn't make sense to me. So, this is our lovely little rover. And I've done the science from everywhere except for the crawler way. So, let's just go over there. I will, first of all, thrust them at this craft because, my God... Jet engine rover, if you don't thrust limit, it's gonna go badly for you. Just just gonna leave it that. I mean you can you can imagine what would happen. Turning, turning. There we go. Um just gonna do my science. Just gonna do my science. Doing, 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 doing all the science. And science is available! Bam, bam. Material Bay rolls and gets stuck between the tracks, the goose stands its ground. Now, when I did this earlier, when I was over next to the space plane hangar, I would clicked all the things, it was like EVA report, I was like, oh cool, I clicked it, and it EVA'd me, and my craft rolled past me and then ran me over. It was kind of hilarious, and I'm so disappointed I do not have that footage for you. It makes me very sad, but we now have our sights from this. Crew report. Ooh, awesome. Crew report from the VAB. I don't have crew report from the VAB? Really? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's because there's only one crew report available, and I did two locations every time I did. Uh, Hello. Yeah, so uh, we're going to take ourselves back to... Ooh, we're going to go to... We're going to go to the... Uh, what's it called? Runway. And we'll get 100% back of our craft over there. Otherwise, you only get 98%. Got to be on the runway or the launch pad. Let's go. Come on, Jeb. High speed chasing. By the way, I love how it's like perfectly flat here. But they didn't bother to flatten out the runway. These kerbals, they're like super lazy, man. And there we go. Bam. So, let's recover our vessel. And you should see like the crazy amounts of science you can get from around the KSC. That was just one location. 7.2 science. I have got so much science now. It is unreal. It's a bit of a shame you did not get to see it. And in the future, I think I'll be making multiple saves just in case, uh, you know, Kerbal System crashes and lose the footage. So, let's look at what we unlock. So we now have 120 science. Yes, I know there's a big jump, but just, you know, there's a number of different buildings. Times each building by, like, the many sciences there is, because there are. Because there's Crew Report, EVA Report, um, Material Bay, and Goo Bay. So that's a lot of science in total. Plenty of science. So we can grab, I believe, two of these. I'm going to grab basic science that allows me to get the thermometer. Great. We can go around and we can do lots of thermometering around all the buildings. And I'm going to grab flight control because I want this mech jeff case and I want the inline reaction wheel. And the inline cockpit's a pretty good idea too. We'll be coming for you. But yeah, we'll grab that one as well. So, backing out of here. And I guess we'll end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, next time I think we'll go around and we'll take temperature readings of all the buildings and see if they're energy efficient. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you've liked, please remember to like. If not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Really important to like since it's you know a new series and so on. And uh, hopefully next time we'll uh, not have so many crashes. Oh, and I'll try to remember to put the mods down below so you can see what I'm running. Until next time though, stay shiny.